Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Z, and welcome to our uh, Halo review slash live reaction to season one, episode three. It just came out today. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I've been trying to get DJ Chili Beans in here or on Skype or something like that because I know he has some theories and he has his own reaction reviews he wants to talk about. So he does a lot of these types of shows with me. So hopefully we can get in, a home in here soon, maybe even on this one if I can get a hold of him. Um, but I know he has a theory, and this is very interesting because I've kind of been looking into it and thinking about it myself. I think his theory is, I don't know, I was trying to piece it together, that he believes that uh, Charlie Murphy's character, what's her name, uh, McKee? basically the the evil lady the lady that's working for the covenant um he thinks that mckee and master chief are related so the only way i can see if they're related they would probably have to be closely related since they're both chosen ones so maybe she's like his sister and they got separated at birth somehow i don't know it's just a crazy theory that we're working on right now um so feel free to let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments but yeah, so kind of crazy theory, but we, we were thinking that maybe McKee and Master Chief are related. Okay, so first off, I, I respect little homies movies. Like, yo, if you, if you read the word kiss, you got to kiss somebody. <laughs> You're trying to slide on in there. But then the, the fucking, they immediately kill him or it looks like he's dead. This might be a situation where they bring him back later and maybe that's how McKee becomes like reacquainted with humans and maybe she ends up turning or maybe that little boy was master chief maybe i doubt that i really I, I doubt that so don't think anything of that i doubt the little boy was master chief like i said earlier i think that they maybe they're related so they wouldn't be kissing or anything <laughs> i don't think i hope not but <clears throat> i i'm thinking maybe that little boy comes back and that restores her humanity or she finds out her and chief are related and maybe that restores her humanity i don't know i'm guessing somehow she's gonna her humanity is gonna be restored i just don't know how i'm speculating here um, but I like that. Um, I can't. The fact that, that this series just keeps murdering children, like it don't, it don't give a fuck. <laughs> it fucking kills kids. Like I don't know why this writer is so obsessed with killing little kids. I guess he thinks it's ballsy. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't become like a trope. Like they just keep doing it. Like let's just murder kids for the uh, shock factor, you know. Um, but uh, once again, the covenant comes in. Sorry, my freaking braces are annoying me um the covenant comes in and uh, they look good man the cgi everything like i'm watching it in 4k and everything looks really good looks really crisp so crisp so i'm hoping <laughs> i had a todd fritz moment there <laughs> so i'm really hoping that they uh you know keep up with the same level of cgi as they've had in the first three episodes because so far i have no complaints it looks good it look good as fuck. So. <laughs> okay, so first off, I hate how they, have, I hate what they've done to Cortana, but it seems like they might be turning her into an AI and making the actual Cortana. So that there's little hope for that. I haven't seen yet. So hopefully, yes, fingers crossed. Hopefully, we get the actual blue Cortana. Um, and a bit, huge revelation. So Miranda Keys is dr halsey's daughter i don't know if they've mentioned that yet if they did this is the first time i've noticed it so miranda keys dr halsey's daughter and maybe we'll get the the real cortana so it's, it's getting interesting finally again episode three is starting to look up oh what the fuck yo what the fuck was that you creepy animal hang on what you creepy ass love <laughs> yo this doctor he creeping me the fuck out. I don't know what's going on with him. And he, he loved big, beautiful brains. <laughs> but this is a creepy motherfucker. I'm gonna keep my, I'm keeping my eyes on you. I'm keeping my eyes. Damn, they fucking killed her. Did I? What the fuck? What the fuck? They, they just fucking killed the Cortana clone, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yo, that's fucked up, bro. 
Okay, so the entire process of putting Cortana's brain into Master Chief is fucking disturbed script. It's like some shit that like we would think that he, uh, aliens would do to us if we ever got like abducted. Like they like torture us, stick a needle in our eye, and extract our brain. All this shit. Like that's what we think aliens would do to us. That's what we just did. So we fucked up. <laughs> we are fucked up for that. Um, it looked like they put. Sorry, I'm yelling again. I'm I, I'm sorry. I get excited. It looks like they put uh, Cortana straight into Chief's brain. So I don't think he's able to like you know in the video games how he can take take her out and then they're separate and she's no longer inside him. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that here. It looked like they like stuck her way up inside his brain. So I don't know. Um, but we do. We finally have. I like I was just talking about we finally we got the blue we got the blue <laughs> blue Cortana she finally here so no worries um she's a little wonky looking she's not how I would have done Cortana but it is the AI Cortana so yes good good we finally got her thank you okay I just have to say that there are times where I feel like Master Chief is actually being Master Chief and like he he has like these one word responses like you like in the video games like you would expect master chief to have where he's just like somebody asks him so he's just like no you know and like it's it's very master chief of him and i'm like yes okay cool then there's other times where he's like emotional and like he's like smiling or he's like you know doing things and it's like no, that's not Master. Stop doing that. That's not Master Chief. Okay, you 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 got to be the badass. You got to be like your your little one liners. That's what we want. So I'm really curious to see if they clean that up and like where they go with uh, John and Cortana now. Cortana's in his head, and uh, and and we just got the check, which I think we're about to see a massacre here in like 30 seconds, but. So, uh, McKee, the, the, uh, girl with the covenant, she just hailed a ship for the, uh, humans and they're about to pick her up. So we're going to see what happens. All right. So two things that are really fascinating. One is that if John is touching the artifact, it activates, but if Cortana takes over, it doesn't activate. So that's really interesting. That's fascinating. So the artifact isn't by touch. It's by consciousness. It can tell by consciousness who is in control. That's that's really interesting. That's fascinating. That's going to be important. And the thing I don't like is that Cortana can completely take over Master Chief. She could never, as far as I can remember, I mean, it's been years since I played like Combat Evolved and Halo 2 and 3 and things like that, but... As far as I can remember, Cortana could never completely take over Chief. She was just his AI. So that's a huge change that they put in here. And that's kind of scary. Like, the fact that, like, now she could take Chief's whole body over and put him in what she called stasis. So Cortana could put basically put Chief to sleep and take over his body, take over his consciousness. But the fact that the artifact knew that, that's very important. That's... That's going to play a huge part, I promise you. Wait, what the fuck? Is, wait. Yeah, okay, so first off, this seems badass. Because you know, as a Halo player in the lore, that the uh, Hunters are actually made up of tiny worms. But you never really get immersed in that. But here, it's like they're just all broken apart. All the worms are attacked separately. And they even have these little mouths that are fucking disgusting. It's like, I never thought about Hunters that way. Because they're always these big hawking beasts, and you never see them in their worm form, really, throughout the games I can think of. And so that was crazy. But, how the fuck did uh, Charlie Murphy have a, she had like a little energy sword that came out of her finger. Like, what the fuck? Like, they made a little energy sword thumbnail, like, uh, nail swirl, like, <laughs> <what the> fuck? <laughs> fucking weird, I don't know. Okay, okay, so... They decide to give Master Chief feels. <laughs> See now, he has feelings, which I don't know if I like. Because Master Chief has always been so, I wouldn't say cold-blooded, but 
just not that emotional. You know, he's very robotic in the games and things like that. And now he's got feels. So I, I don't know how I feel about that. Also, we've learned that Cortana is a spying line bitch. <laughs> so, yes. Fuck Cortana. I don't know. Right now she's like working for Halsey. But Halsey might be a good guy. I don't know. I don't know how all that's going to play out. Is Cortana going to be a good guy? Is she going to be a spy? She's going to be kind of in between. Is Halsey a good guy? I don't know. It's all very, you know, it's not clear. Um, but we did get our first scene of Cortana opening a door for Master Chief. So, yay. Come back to the video games. Cortana opened a door for Master Chief. <laughs> it's the video games. <laughs> it's so, uh, I wouldn't say it's stupid. It was a... Uh, it was an okay moment. Like, as soon as I realized, like, oh, Cortana's going to open the door for him, I was like, they're bringing up the video games. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's a callback. It's a little bit of fan service. Um, I'm not going to be mad about it. So, <laughs> we'll see where it goes. But, yeah. So, uh, John's home planet was apparently plagued by some sort of disease or something like that. And immediately I thought, oh, shit, the flood. Like, holy shit, his plan was taken over by a flood. But, I don't think the UNSC knows about the flood yet. And so, if his planet was taken over by the flood, then I think they would, obviously, they would know about it. So, I don't think that the disease that they're talking about that killed John's, like, basically, the entire planet that John came from, um, I don't think that was the flood. So, we haven't, we're not introduced to the flood yet, but hopefully we're going to get there. <laughs> AI off, go! <laughs> okay, okay, I kind of like, I kind of like that. I like the fact he's like, like Cortana doesn't listen to him at all. Same as in the video games. She's not like his servant. She does her own shit, which is kind of cool the way they did this because it's the same thing. He's like, go. Yeah, off. Uh, turn off. Uh, get, get the fuck out of here. She's just like, what? Summon? You don't summon me, motherfucker. Like, who the fuck you think you're talking to? So, I do. I like that. I, I like the fact that they, they made it that way, just like the video games, where, you know, she's not Master Chief Slave. She's her own thing. Okay, so I'm a little confused. Were they saying that Amanda Halsey was an AI or... You know, somehow a clone or something like that. I I kind of I kind of missed it. I don't know. I have to go back and rewatch that part. So anyway, not not too important right now. Um, they were saying that Master Chief, if he got all of his memories back, could bring down the entire UNSC. So what the fuck are they? What what the fuck's going on? Where are they hiding? I'm really curious. Now this episode has me intrigued. Um, <clears throat> I will say that this episode and episode two combined they're both just like full of you know exp uh, you know ex explaining things and uh, uh exposition and things like that and it's basically just all story and it, it's kind of boring i'm not gonna lie the last two episodes have been kind of boring i have to be honest with you guys um but i feel like it's fine i feel like it is it's basically it's giving us all the story that we need to know so that it can set up for the exciting stuff. That's what I'm hoping. That's what that's what I'm taking away from this is basically like, let's just give them all the information, couple episodes of expo exposition and things like that, and give them all the information they need to know so that when all the exciting stuff starts to happen, they know why. They know what's going on, what's happening, why it was set up this way, how uh, Chief became this way, how Cortana became this way with Chief. And, you know, they kind of had to set it up to where they were explaining everything before they just jumped right into it. They could have filmed it differently where they gave us a ton of action and then kind of had like back flashes and things like that. It probably would have been better and more interesting if they did it that way. Jump straight into the story, jump straight into the action, gave us all the fights and everything, and then in flashbacks we see like oh you know Cortana being made and Chief finding the artifact and getting his memories back and things like that. Um, 
I feel like I, I get why they did it this way because the other way it's been done a million times with flashbacks, a lot of movies and uh, TV shows and things like that. They do it where it's like you jump right into it, then you get a flashback. And so maybe they thought like, well, it's been done. You know, it's kind of overdone. We don't want to do it that way. Let's just bring them a direct, you know, a, a, you know, just bring them straight continuity. Um, not do flashbacks. I understand why they did it that way because it has been overdone and things like that. But I feel like with this series, it probably would have been better if they did it that way. We could have got more action up front. And then bring us like a little bit of exposition throughout each episode. Kind of like uh, if you guys have ever saw, uh, if you guys have ever seen uh, Better Call Saul, they do that. Where it's like a little bit of story and then they give you the backstory. And then a little story and they give you flashbacks. So I get why they did it. Right now, I'm enjoying the series. I'm not, I'm not completely out of it yet. Yes, has it been kind of like... Okay, okay, yeah, story, 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 get to it. I feel like episode four is finally going to start to pop off. I feel like, okay, now we're all caught up. Okay, now we understand how Master Chief came to be. We understand how Cortana came to be. We understand all the side characters and what they're doing, all their roles. And so we're all caught up. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it now. Let's get into it. So I'm really excited. This this episode did its job. It did what it was supposed to. Uh, it got me hyped up for episode four. So hopefully episode four <laughs> better fucking come through. Because if it doesn't, right now I've been loyal. I've been loyal. Um, and I've been staying with the series and everything. And I haven't given up yet. Some people might have. I'm sure people have. They're already like fucking over it i haven't given up yet but episode four better deliver it better bring some action and it better progress the story and move it forward or things are going to start to get stale even for me who's a hardcore fan and i i want to love the series so that's it that's my piece uh for this episode i would probably rate it like a six out of ten six out of ten it did explain a lot and it did show how they're moving forward with the story and everything like that so i gotta give it points for that uh <clears throat> the way they showed the hunters attacking you know the crew and everything the way they showed cortana getting you know put in the master chief and all that was kind of gross and so even though it wasn't straight up action and uh you know, things like that, and it was mostly just story-driven, I appreciate it for what it was, and I would say a 6 out of 10, maybe even a 7 out of 10, really, to be honest, because it, it was so, like, just, like, moving the story forward, even though it wasn't a lot of action, it was moving the story forward and letting us know what's going on and where everything's going for this, but I'm telling you guys, they better get to it, like, okay, we're three episodes in, Get to the fucking, like, let's start getting some action. Let's, let's start doing some things. All right. I'm ready for it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. It always helps us out. Uh, you can check out our merch store and things like that. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is, this has been my episode three review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm the noisy. Bye bye. Um. What's up guys, shit here. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. What? What that? That's it. That's, that's all I got. Get, get the fuck.